directing their attention to the Mojave Desert, wondering if the next big quake could start there. A major fault line is moving again for the first time in hundreds of years. And 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena is here to explain what this could mean for millions of us Californians. That's right, Kim and Steve. The last time there was a major earthquake on this fault was nearly 500 years ago. Scientists hadn't paid much attention to it until this past summer. Back in early July, a series of strong earthquakes in Ridgecrest left destruction and injuries in their aftermath. The dramatic movement also drew attention to an area that, geologically speaking, hadn't done much in a while. The aftershocks from the Ridgecrest earthquake started the Garlock Fault moving. Not big faults, not big earthquakes, but for over a century it's been very, very quiet. So when it starts to getting active, you go, whoa, what, what's going on here? Dr. Pat Abbott says the Garlock Fault, which runs through a large portion of Southern California, was in a sense woken up by the Ridgecrest quakes. It runs for 160 miles. If this whole 160 mile fault moved, oh my goodness gracious. Or in other words, it could produce the so-called big one, causing massive devastation in San Diego and up and down the California coast. Here, if it all of a sudden moved like this, that would be a magnitude eight earthquake. And that would be a tremendous jolt to the San Andreas Fault and you could actually even trigger a huge earthquake on the San Andreas. While it is possible, Dr. Abbott says it's not the most likely scenario. We're just gonna have a, a number of little earthquakes here for a number of months and, and that'll basically be the whole story. The research on the Garlock Fault and its recent activity was published in the journal Science and released today. Reporting in the studio, Lindsay Pena, 10 News.